Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. The Hermes Church in Urfa was robbed again in Western Armenia. Putin and Macron discussed the problem of Artsakh. Armenia should maintain red lines in negotiation with Turkey. Turkeyologists. Yours got holidays of Western Armenia. What problems does the scientific center Kachar have? The head of state sum up the result of the work for the past year. The Artsakh Stone House Church of St. Astvazatzin is being banned organization. The Armenian Church of Hermush, built in 19th century in the Germush quarter of Halili, country of Urfa, province of Western Armenia, was left to the mercy of fate. The historic church expresses the mysterious structure and colorful architecture. The promise is made for the restoration of the church, which resists the obvious destruction and is still preserved for the 21st century, remained in the air. Although many years have passed from the decisions taken, however, no work has been carried out to preserve or restore the church. The church, which was robbed after the genocide of Armenian people in 1915 is now a target of treasure seekers. During this historical period, not only this church was destroyed, but also cemeteries, schools, and settlements were acquitted to the earth. In the vicinity of village St. Hovanes, St. Tadevos, St. Hagop, and St. Finas for the monasteries, there were only remains. Russia and France confirm the importance of the work of OSCE Minsk Group co-chairs in solving the Artsakh problem. This was stated by Russian President Vladimir Putin after talks with the French counterpart Emmanuel Macron. During the discussion of the situation around Artsakh, the positive role of Russian peacekeeper who ensured compliance of the ceasefire and help people return the peaceful life was emphasized. We have confirmed the importance of OSCE Minsk Group co-chairs, including in solving humanitarian and socio-economic problems in the region. The Russian president said after the meeting, Macron presented the results of the recent video conference with the president of Council of Europe, Charles Michel, the leaders of Armenia and Azerbaijan, Nikol Pashinyan and Ilya Maliev. During the ongoing negotiations with Turkey, Armenia must strictly maintain their red lines and in no case grow them. This opinion was expressed by the Academian of National Academy of Sciences of Armenia, Turkeyologist Ruben Safradian. The genocide committed against the Armenians its recognition, the Artsakh problem and the Kars Treaty. All these issues and problems are strongly connected with the identity of Armenian people, and both in Armenia and Artsakh and Western Armenia. In that light, I consider it necessary to take into account the interests of our expatriate compatriots, among other issues, during the negotiations. I think it would be nice for our authorities discussed from them to the progress of negotiation process with Turkey, he said. The ratification of Sushi declaration, in fact, gives legitimacy to the already existing coordination between Ankara and Baku on its steps towards Armenia. Thus, our negotiators should take into account that in the person of Turkey, they are also dealing with Azerbaijan. Anyway, the Turks and Azerbaijanis will not give up the joint goal of seeing Artsakh as part of Azerbaijan, and they will try to all means to achieve this, which is unacceptable for us, in the light of which personally I do not see any special prospects from Armenia in the current process for normalization of relations with Turkey," Safratian concluded. The Turkish and Azerbaijan authorities by their Shushi Declaration 2021 wanted to replace the Shushi Declaration of the National Council of Western Armenia dated 17 December 2004. The Armenians of Territory of Yozgat attach great importance to the Armenian traditional holidays and always celebrate each of them with great ceremonies. These holidays and rituals are kind of dramatization, which is their external form, may differ by village, city or town by geopolitical location. Read the full article on our official website. Having lost the materials and documents of historical significance of the Kachar Scientific Center, collected for 14 years and significantly developed in occupied Shushi, all labor and office property, the priority to fill their shortage was the improvement and expansion of the website of Kachar Scientific Center, which will provide an opportunity for researchers of all information about Artsakh to make the fund accessible. This was stated by the president of public organization Scientific Center Kachar, Professor Maher Harutunyan, speaking about the activities of the organization 2021. As Harutunyan noted, it was prepared for publication and published in 2020 with the assistance of the ministry. On July 15 to 16, a collection of materials of an international online conference dedicated to the 100th anniversary of the genocide of Armenian people in Shushi was organized in Shushi, which reveals with new facts and justification for the genocidal policy of Azerbaijan and in Shushi 1920 the facts of crimes in Azerbaijan's other Armenian settlements. 
In March 2021, a user named Karabakh owner posted a video on his YouTube channel, which clearly shows that St. Astvatsatin Church in Karintak of Artsakh, which commanded the control of Azerbaijan after the 44-day war, is being vandalized. The Monitoring of Culture Heritage of Artsakh writes about this monument but dot organization website. The video clearly showed that holy table on the altar of the church is broken and divided the inside of the church is ruined. The Azerbaijan military inside and outside the church climbed the altar, desecrated enter into tradition that are also reserved. According to Article 4 of the 1954 Hague Convention of the Protection of Cultural Property during Armed Conflicts, any act of vandalism, theft, robbery, appropriation, enmity and massacre of cultural heritage is prohibited and such an act, according to Article 15, qualifies as an international crime. Now the musical part, Armenian Folk Song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.